Um, excuse me. Yeah, it's like just like changing your work towards yourself, not like <laughs> this video's a mess. It really is. <laughs> It's Sophie and for today's video, I have a very special guest with me on my channel, Miss Emma Orland. Hi! <laughs> this is like our third time trying to film this video, so we're just going to get into this quickly. We're going to make a video talking about how to take better pictures and how to make your pictures look good, how to make them look better, whether it's for Tumblr, Instagram, how to make your pictures look nice, you know? Because I've gotten a lot of questions asking who is the person that takes like the really good pictures on my Instagram. That's all Emma. Like she filmed one of my lookbooks for me. I think she filmed my last lookbook or the one before that, I don't remember. But she filmed one of those and like took all the pictures for it. So we're just gonna basically talk about like how to make your pictures look better. So. That's basically it. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to do that. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. I wrote some, well, we wrote some things on my phone that we're gonna talk about. So the very first one is, you've probably heard this like a billion times before, but like find inspiration for your pictures. Yeah, definitely when you're finding inspiration for your photos, like go on like places that you usually look at pictures, like Instagram, uh, Sorry. It's okay. Instagram, uh, Tumblr. Tumblr. I don't know, Facebook, uh, <laughs> Pinterest. Uh, we heart it. We heart it. <laughs> we heart it. Uh, Tinder, I don't know. <laughs> Normally for me, I look at Tumblr because that's where I find the best pictures. I don't really follow a lot of photography pages on Instagram, so um, Tumblr is where I see a lot of the pictures that I like. So, yeah. Definitely like look at their photos and like see, like not only like what their photo actually looks like, but like look at the way that they use the lighting and the way that they yeah. use colors and yeah. how they edit them and just like really just like try and like learn their style and don't imitate it yeah. take inspiration from it yeah because there's like a difference between like taking inspiration from like a photographer that you like or an instagram page that you like and literally just copying their entire picture because i used to do that all the time when i first started my instagram i always copied madison beer and ariana grande's pictures because like i was obsessed with their instagrams this was like in 2013 or 2014 but i would always copy their pictures like all the time and they were so unoriginal and it was so obvious that i was like trying to imitate their photos so they just look bad like they just look so bad because they're not my photos I'm just like literally copying them like don't try to imitate the literal photo just like take inspiration from it like I don't know yeah like you get what I mean like for example there's this photo that Glossier has where like there's like this girl and like there's just like light coming from behind her and there's just like the sky behind her it's so. like taking something like that isn't necessarily copying the photo or like stealing the photographer's style. Exactly. It's just taking inspiration a from like what they did. Yeah, exactly. So lighting is next. So lighting is extremely important for your pictures. So I feel like lighting, uh, definitely like there's a lot of ways you can approach it. There's like studio lights. I mean, you can use even like regular like light bulbs. Or yeah. natural light. It depends on kind of what the feel you want for your photo is. The golden hour, which is the hour before the sun sets, is always a very good time to do shoots just because it's like super like moody. There's just a lot of like natural tones in the photo that you yeah. wouldn't get otherwise. Golden hour is from like five to six, right? Or like well, like it kind of depends on like what time of year it is. Exactly. Like now it's dark and it's like, six thirty p.m. Yeah. Like find the time that your sun the sun sets in your area. Okay. So editing, we can just like talk about what we use to edit pictures. Um, uh, yeah, to edit, I use Lightroom, like Adobe's uh, photo software. I use Viesco Cam because I'm not that advanced. Because um, I normally take a lot of my pictures on my own iPhone, so I just edit them in Viesco Cam. Or sometimes I don't even put any type of filter at all because you don't always need a filter. Okay, so the next tip is to practice taking pictures. That's like a super cliche statement, but it's definitely super true. Yeah. Like whenever I'm anywhere, I always carry on my film camera. Uh, and I literally <laughs> just like take pictures of whatever I think I want to take pictures of. Um, and I mean, you can do this with like a digital camera, with your iPhone, with anything. Yeah, literally anything that you have. If you don't practice taking pictures, then like you're not gonna get yeah. any better Like you can it. have all the equipment in the world, like the state of the art equipment. And exactly. You can still be- A um, bad like, photographer. Yeah. That's me because me and Emma did a shoot together and she was taking all these really good pictures of me. And then I used her camera to take a picture of her and it looked 
so bad because like I didn't know how to work her camera because I don't really practice taking pictures then she literally goes out and like takes pictures all the time like her photos look really really good compared to mine to someone who doesn't practice if you really want to get better at taking pictures and have your pictures looking much better like as good as they possibly can then like go out and just like take pictures of anything really and definitely like use YouTube as a resource because I feel like there's so many YouTubers out there that just make videos about like for the more technical side of things like how to use your camera or like mm -hmm. like settings learn. yeah like settings like how to learn the rule of thirds like the exposure triangle things like that but even if like you're just using your iPhone and you just want like cute Instagram pictures or cute Tumblr pictures still practicing taking pictures definitely helps we should talk about like what to actually take pictures of yeah depending on like what kind of photography you're doing if you just want pictures for your Instagram like I would say take pictures of things like for my Instagram personally hold on let me go into my Instagram I take pictures of things that I like really or I post things that I like and a lot of pictures are of me like pictures that I've taken of me or that people have taken of me and just like things that I'm interested in and things that I like my first Instagram that I ever had was a mess like I would just take pictures just to take pictures there was actually a picture that I posted of when we first got Jordan his poop when I <laughs> suck out his poop from the litter box, I took a picture of it and I put on freaking Valencia and I put that on Instagram. <laughs> like that was, that was me. Like that was what Fine I art. did. Fine art. If that is something that you're interested in, then do it. But I would say like, don't like post pictures on your Instagram just to post pictures. I would say like take pictures of things that you actually like or like want to take pictures of. Okay, so the last tip is to be creative. That's very broad. Just like make sure when you're get like getting inspiration from someone, you're not imitating their work. And like try new things too. Like me and Emma have done shoots where she'll literally like hide behind a bush and put the lens like through the bush and be like, let's try this. So it's like and doing that is sort of original. Well, there are people who've probably no, done I it mean, before. But like people have done it, but it's like still like try new things that like you haven't done before with like your photography. You never know. Like you might get a really good picture out of it. We did get a good picture out of yeah, that like though. With, like, the with the flowers. Yeah. That looked really good. Like we got a really good picture out of that. Put your camera in the places that are very like unconventional and yeah. you'll probably get very good photos. For the people that do Instagram, um, if that's what you want pictures for, I would say to like try to establish a theme for your Instagram. When I say establish a theme, I don't mean like use the same filter for every single picture because like some pictures don't work with the same filter every single time. But when I say establish a theme, I mean like try your best to have your pictures connect in some way, whether your theme is like landscapes or I don't know, modeling or something. I, I honestly don't know. There are so many themes out there. But try to have all of your pictures connect in a way um, so that it doesn't look like unorganized and look messy. I don't even think that I have a theme on my Instagram, <laughs> but I try. I had like an alternating like tone, like temperature theme for a while where it was like cool photo, warm photo, cool photo. Yeah, I like that. As long as you like it and it looks good to you, then that's yeah. really all that matters. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and me and Emma will answer them in the comments down below. If you have any questions about like how we edit, how we like set up the pictures, things like that, leave them down below. Oh my gosh, maybe we could do like a video of like behind the scenes of a photo yeah. shoot. That would be cool. We should do that. Like have somebody come on the next shoot and like take behind the scenes. Yeah. So keep keep posted for that. Keep posted. Stay tuned. <laughs> but that's basically it. We're gonna go. Thank you guys. So much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like we said, comment down below any questions that you guys have or comment down below, I don't know, your Instagram and we'll stalk you guys. Like we'll, we'll, we'll judge your themes. We're not judging. <laughs> we'll judge your themes. So that is it. I love you guys and I will see you this Saturday with another new video. 